Okay, jump. everyone Oliver is four months old and we wanted to do a day in the life of what this stage looks like with him so today he woke up a little bit earlier than usual he's been waking up around 6 30 to 7 30 now which has been awesome but yesterday was really rainy and he did sleep for most of the day so I'm not surprised that he woke up a little bit early today So it's eight o'clock now. Oliver did fall asleep in bed, the lucky pup, for some morning cuddles, which is really nice for us. Now we're gonna go out again so we can use the bathroom and we'll probably all get up. Ready? Ollie. Good boy. Sit. It's a little bit rainy this morning, but hopefully it's going to be nice. It's supposed to be. We're currently staying with some of our friends in Vermont. They just bought this beautiful property. I don't know if you can see. It's stunning. There is a creek here that he can swim in. Um, they made their own little trails. There's a barn back there. So cool. Good boy. Months old. Look at this cutie pie. Good boy. Excuse you. Oliver. Off. Thank you. I think it's time for breakfast. Look at that nose. Thank you. We reward behavior like that. That's a good sit. Hi. <laughs> That's nice. 
Let's see the other one. We catch it. Oh. Ready? Catch. Good job. is almost 11. Yeah. Ollie has not had his morning nap yet. Probably because he slept all day yesterday. And now he's kind of acting out. Okay. Okay. What's going on, Ollie? Are you crazy? Are you a crazy dog? Where are your toys? Where are they? Let's get one. Oh, oh. This one? Run, run. Yes, yes. Oh, you got it. Good job. Oh, thank you. For anyone that's wondering why we have Ollie tethered right now, it is because he, well, two reasons. Number one, um, he jumps out of the van on his own now. We are training him to do that just on a command, but he's a bit of a flight risk when there's something outside that he wants. So if we open the door or have the door open, we have him on a tether um, just to make sure that he is safe. And number two, right now we are thawing out his um, next carton of raw food on the counter and he is a hundred percent interested in that and has just been jumping and clawing and trying to get his way up there so we have him on the tether when the door's closed to prevent him from jumping up so that we don't have to constantly tell him to come off and then like put him in his crate for a second to kind of teach him that that's not what we want we're just preventing the behavior instead because we did reprimand him put him in his crate for like 10 minutes and after it real yeah it got old real fast we didn't leave him in his crate for 10 minutes but we would he would jump we would put him in his crate for 10 seconds until he settled we would let him out he would just run back there and jump again and again and again and again and so we are just preventing that behavior instead of letting him do that but right now He's getting a good play session. I can't believe he hasn't had his morning nap yet. But he did sleep all day yesterday. It was, it's kind of gray today, but it was gray and raining all day yesterday. So he didn't really expend much energy. <laughs> so we're paying for it today.
it is three o'clock. That means it's lunchtime for Mr. Oliver. Oh, the excitement is about to be so real. <gasps> you know what I got out of the fridge. Ollie, sit. That's a good boy. We have to wait, okay? Do you want him to come in or to wait there? He can come in. Okay, jump. Yep, help yourself. Sit. Good boy. So this is Answer's detailed formula and this is the beef. This is definitely our favorite. It is the best consistency. It does not get watery. It does not get gross, like slimy. It stays like this the five days that it lasts in the fridge and that's awesome. Sarah and I are doing a little bit of editing today. We're getting some work done. This guy, thankfully, sleeps now and doesn't require constant attention. So he just had his lunch about an hour ago or so and now he's passed out and we have two hours to ourselves. This is amazing. on our way to cut sunflowers by the stem. This sounds so fun. Apparently one of Tori's neighbors, our friend's neighbors, has a little sunflower field and we're just gonna go get some stems. It looks so cute. back from picking sunflowers just a couple of minutes ago. It is eight o'clock. Ali is resting. He's pretty much done for the night at this point in time. We will wake him up again around 9 30 for his dinner. The reason why we feed him dinner so late is because he does eat raw food which takes about four hours to digest versus kibble which can take eight to twelve hours to digest. So when he was younger, we were dealing with him waking up around 3 or 4 a.m. and having what they call hunger pukes, which is when the puppy's stomach is creating this bile um, in anticipation of having food in there. And then the bile upsets their stomach when there isn't food and then they throw it up. So to combat against that, we've been giving him some fiber at the end of the night as well as just feeding him dinner much later. So. We push his whole feeding schedule back a bit. He has breakfast around nine, lunch around two or three, and then dinner around nine, nine thirty. So he's sleeping now and we'll get him up to feed him dinner in an hour. And then that's, that's that. We'll have a little bit of cuddle time and say good night. Dinner time, Ollie? <gasps> He's done for dinner. Do you want some food? Come on, let's have some. Oh man, another day older. He looks huge right now. <laughs> Are you all grown? Okay. Boy. Oh 
Okay, that's the end of the day. <laughs> Another day gone. Yep. Ollie is sleeping. He's currently sleeping on the pillows outside of his crate. <laughs> He's been giving a little protest when we put him in his crate at night. Just like two minutes of Next like door. tiny little cries. Just to let us know that he would rather be elsewhere. Yeah. Or rather have the choice to be elsewhere. Yeah. But he's probably going to grow another inch overnight. So you're saying he pound. grows so much. He's growing so much. Thank you guys for watching. We love sharing our days with you. And we'll see you next time. Good night. <laughs>